IoT is a really interesting field, especially industrial IoT. Um, we're really starting to see data science and machine learning not just influence things in the digital sphere. So it's not just about showing you the right ad or giving you the right movie recommendation on Netflix anymore. It's actually creeping into our physical world. So these are cyber physical systems that we deal with. IoT and industrial IoT is all about that intersection of digital and physical. Um, so on a daily basis, you know, I'm uh, talking to customers about what their actual physical challenges are with uh, machining specifically. So are they creating too many scrap parts? You know, are their tools breaking? Uh, do their machines need to be stopped uh, at a certain time, but they just don't have enough personnel to stop them? Um, so industrial IoT and my day to day is really all about finding these cyber physical challenges and solving them with the power of uh, big data and algorithms apply to that. A third of the time, I'd say I'm talking to customers, either external customers like machine shops that we have or internal customers like um, other groups in the company that are interested in our work. A third of the time I'm in the code itself. So programming in R, Python, uh, PySpark in order to actually build tools to solve their problems. And a third of the time is uh, just general like coordination, uh, leadership, um, you know, product management sort of stuff uh, where I'm actually coordinating internally with my team and other teams to get this thing built and deployed on our edge devices so that they can actually stop machines in the field and really be able to make an impact. Um, so it's a really interesting mix of things and it really requires that you sort of have a generalist mindset where you're not just a, a coder or you're not just a salesman or you're not just a product manager. Uh, you really have to be all three or four, five roles at the same time. It's that sort of agility that I think the springboard curriculum kind of like uh, emphasizes. And I think it's going to come more into vogue as we move further and further along with edge computing and with capabilities in data science. You're going to see just your day to day uh, be influenced more and more by um, these more advanced analytical capabilities and, you know, factory floors. They've sort of been mired in the 20th century for a long time. They run basically the same as they did in the 60s and the 70s, especially these small mom and pop shops. They haven't had any reason to change. And now all of a sudden you can see these trillions of data points that, that we pull and be able to not just have a person stand next to the machine and babysit it all the time, but you can actually do that with data itself. So you can replicate the ear of the operator, you can replicate you know, someone standing and staring at the machine just by looking at these these data points and looking mm -hmm. at patterns of them. It's really cool to actually see our work manifest in a physical sense. It's really cool to see that we can actually stop machines thousands of miles away from our living room uh, and do that in an accurate way.